In this video, we're going to take a look at how vaccines work and consider their pros and their cons. Once our bodies, or more specifically our immune systems, have been exposed to a certain pathogen, they generally develop immunity to that pathogen and any of the diseases it causes. And once we're immune, it means that we can't catch the disease anymore, which is why we only catch things like chickenpox once. The problem though is that we still have to catch the disease that first time, which can range from being unpleasant to lethal. What would be great is if we could somehow expose ourselves to the pathogen and get the immunity without actually catching the disease. Well, this is exactly what vaccines do. Inside a vaccine are the pathogens that we want to be immune to. But importantly, they've been weakened or inactivated so that they aren't strong enough to cause us any disease. Because these weakened pathogens still contain the same antigens though, our body still treats them as if they're the proper pathogens. And so it responds by producing antibodies and developing immunity. We now have vaccines for so many things that it's easy to forget just how many diseases there are out there. Vaccines can work against both bacteria and viruses. And by the time we start primary school, we've already been vaccinated against more than a dozen diseases, many of which could otherwise kill us. So what are the pros and cons? Well, the main pro is that they protect us from catching horrible diseases. But on a larger scale, they've actually helped us control loads of diseases that used to be quite common, like polio, smallpox, measles, and whooping cough. They also help to prevent big outbreaks of disease, which we call epidemics. These waves of disease used to spread rapidly across the country and kill a big portion of the population. Vaccines are able to have these large-scale effects because of something called herd immunity. When enough people in your population are immune to a pathogen, then the pathogen won't have any people to spread to. So once the host overcomes the disease, or dies, then the pathogen disappears. So even if a few people aren't vaccinated, they're unlikely to catch the disease because everybody around them is vaccinated. Now, the pros pretty much always outweigh the cons when it comes to vaccination, but there are a couple of problems. For one, vaccines don't always work. Sometimes they just don't grant us full immunity. But with important vaccines, we generally check after we've had the injection to see if it's been effective. A more common problem is that we sometimes have bad reactions to the vaccine. For example, some swelling around the injection site. In some severe cases, they can cause fevers or even seizures. However, bad reactions are pretty rare, and the severe reactions are super rare. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.